Hi folks, Rob here from SmokingPit.com. In this video we'll be cooking chicken fried steak. That's comfort food and it doesn't get any better than chicken fried steak. We're going to get started mixing the flour mix. So I've got two cups of all-purpose flour and I'm going to mix in two teaspoons of Johnny's seasoning. Mix it thoroughly. Now we're going to mix our batter. I'm going to start off with one and a half cups of buttermilk. Then I'm going to add one beaten egg. I'm going to give it a good stir here with my uh, little tiny whisk because some, somewhere, somehow, my big whisk went away. So I'm going to use this little guy. I'm going to add two teaspoons baking powder. Stir it up real good and one teaspoon baking soda. I'll get that stirred in. Next I'm going to add one teaspoon coarse ground black pepper. I'll stir that in. I'm going to follow that up with a three quarters teaspoon of kosher salt. one tablespoon Tabasco or hot sauce and two cloves of minced garlic. After you add the garlic make sure you stir this up thoroughly. There's our buttermilk batter and it looks good. Now I've got four nice thick uh, cube steaks here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and rub, rub them down with some Mad Hunky Hot Ass Wang Rub. You can find this at madhunkymeats.com. It's a spicy chicken rub actually but it's great on beef as well. It's also great on seafood. I'm going to get this rubbed in good and put it on to taste. There you go folks, there's our cube steak looking good and you want to use fairly large cube steaks too. This is a great time to lighter lump charcoal, so we'll get this going and we'll finish up the process with meat. Now it's time for the breading and battering process. So we're going to take a hunk of this cube steak and we're going to press it down into the flour. Remember this is flour and Johnny's mixed in together. It seasons it up real nice. You want to make sure you fully coat these things. So into the flour, rub some flour on them. Then we're going to go into the batter. Get that nice buttermilk batter on there. You want to submerge these things and get them fairly coated liberally and then uh, pull them up, let them drip off, and then back into the flour. Make sure we get them good and coated here with this flour mixture. Then once you've done this, you want to place them on a, a wire rack, let them kind of air dry a little bit, and let some of the excess fall off. And I'll go ahead and do the rest of these. We'll get them all ready to go, and uh, then we'll get them out to the cooker. Well there you go folks, there's the last one and look at that, they are looking good and we're ready to get them out to the Scottsdale. Again we'll be cooking on the Scottsdale by, by Arizona Barbecue Outfitters. And you can see my hot coals are burned down and I'll be cooking with a 15 inch cast iron skillet. I'm going to add three cups of uh, vegetable shortening here. I'm going to let that melt down and we're going to bring it up to 325 degrees. Now that our oil is heated, we'll go ahead and lay in a couple of these steaks. And we're going to cook them about four minutes per side and get a nice golden brown. I like mine a little dark brown. I like a nice crunch to them. So we'll get these in there and get them cooking.
Now that we've gone four minutes on one side, we'll go ahead and give these a turn and give them another four minutes. Okay, our first two are done. We'll get these out of the grease and we'll let them kind of drip off. And I like to place them on some paper towels so that the, the grease drains off. Oh man, do these smell good, folks. Oh yeah. This is comfort, comfort food, man. This is, this is the way to do comfort food. Look at that. Okay, let's get these other two cooking. And again, we're cooking on the Scottsdale by Arizona Barbecue Outfitters. This is an amazing cooker. And there's our last of the steaks coming off the, out of the grease right now. Like I said, let it let that stuff drip off a little bit, and then uh, onto some paper towels. Next, we're going to work on our gravy. But before we do that, take a look at that. Now I'm going to dump all the grease, folks, all but about a quarter of a cup. We want to hold back a quarter cup of grease, and then in this. I mixed in a quarter cup of flour, one quarter teaspoon salt, and a half a teaspoon black pepper. And I kind of stirred that in, and now I'm adding four cups milk. I'm going to get this stirred in, and then you're going to see me lower the, the grate system on the Scottsdale, like I'm doing right here. So we're taking it from a medium low, and we're, I'm going to take it up to a medium high now. And I'm going to continuously stir it. You want to continuously keep stirring this. You notice I got some chunks of the uh, steak in there and stuff like that because you want to, uh, like I said, hold back that quarter cup of uh, shortening and, and you want to hold back some, some of the chunks of meat and stuff. Once the gravy comes to a simmer and thickens up a bit, we'll go ahead and put it into a bowl like I've done here. Look at that. Stuff looks amazing and smells good. Well folks, it's getting lunchtime, so let's grab one of these steaks here. And you see I got my uh, glass of Yoohoo, got to have some Yoohoo with this. And on goes the gravy, look at that. The consistency of this gravy is perfect. You don't want it too runny, you want it to kind of cling to the meat. That's looking good. That's just the right amount of pepper in it too. There you go folks. Hope you don't mind if I cut into this and try a piece. Of course I gotta show you what it looks like on inside too, right? So that's my excuse for doing this. Oh man, it smells good. Look at that. Oh yeah. Super tender too. Knife just goes right through it. Well there you have it folks. Country Fried Steak. This is Rob from SmokingPit.com. Thanks for viewing. Make sure you visit my Facebook page. Click like. Visit me on YouTube. Click subscribe. Thanks for watching, folks.